Her own son. Oh. Who's that? Hi. <laughs> I feel like I'm quite far away. Hi. <laughs> Welcome in to another video. Guys, I'm fucking ready for this. I've got myself coffee, got myself some munchies, and we are here to watch Scream 3. Now, Scream 5, one minute. <laughs> Scream 5, I do believe, comes out this Friday when I'm filming this. So I'm hoping this is gonna be up on Monday. Then I'm hoping to have the fourth one, I'm gonna film that soon, and then I'm hoping to get that up Maybe next week or who knows, maybe on Friday? I don't know. They're gonna be soon, okay? I've loved doing this series, so if you guys have any other recommendations in terms of movies, probably horror movies to be honest, because I love horror movies. Um, so if you've got any others that you'd like me to sit down and watch, and even if I've watched them before, chances are I won't remember details. But with all that said, let's just get into this video. Clink, clink, cheers to this, and yeah, scream three, hey. There we go. I mean, think about it. I'm risking my reputation as the host of this country's number one nationally syndicated talk show to do a cameo in some cheap slasher flick. I mean, why can't these guys write me a fucking decent part? I don't care about him. He didn't need to be in this for me. What's his name? Cotton. What a spot. Oh my God, I am talking to Cotton. <laughs> Can you hold on one second? I'll be right back, I promise. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell me who you are? Ooh, you're a naughty boy, Cotton. I don't like this. It's giving phone sex vibes. Now what would your girlfriend say? <laughs> oh no. Right outside her bathroom door. <gasps> Let's come in for a closer look. Oh my god, hi, bum cheeks. You listen to me, you fucking psycho. You lay a finger on Christine and I swear to God I'll kill you. Okay. How can you kill him? You don't know who he is. Wrong answer. No, wait. Oh my god, we're really wasting no time with this one. It's her! What was she in? She's been in so much stuff. She was actually Serena Vander Woodson's mum in the hit CW series Gossip Girl. She's sexy too. Oh, see, I don't want her to be dead either because I like her. For fuck's sake. I've got a feeling she's gonna die. I mean, it can kill Cotton for me, see ya. <laughs> We've cut the line. Come on, negligee. You know I don't like your stab games. He plays stab games. Dump him. I've said this every single time about someone different, I think. I'm not gonna believe what just happened to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I knew she slipped, silly cow. They can always fight though, they've always... They've all got a bit of something, something about them. Oh, lovely doorknob. Okay, okay, I'm sorry babe, I didn't mean to scare you that bad. It's me. Come on, open the door. <laughs> Is she gonna think it's actually him then? How have we got his voice down pat? Oh my gosh, imagine if he's got a brother and it's his brother. Hon? Hon? Never trust people that say Hon. It's Hun. Chris, oh, <laughs> yeah, I knew she'd think it was actually him. Why do you want to kill me? Give me the club, please. Ah! No! Get out of the way! Oh. You in danger, girl. Oh my god, I'm gooped! I mean, you can kill Cotton, I'm not bothered, but those pants, oh, hello. Oh, they do bits for his peach. I'll say that was a smart move by Mr. Ghostface. That was smart to obviously use his voice. Not mad. Not mad at it. Oh, got a little short do this time. Oh no, tapered. Bitch, bitch, bitch. People can just jump over that fence. California Women's Crisis Counseling. Hey, it's Laura from Monterey reporting to work. Can you patch me in? Sure, thanks Laura. Thank you. California Women's Crisis Counseling. How can I help you? 
Oh, I love that she's working for women's counselling. Oh, to help other traumatized women. As the future journalist of America, there is one thing that you need to remember. I'm not sh Oh, I'm not sure about those bangs. I'm here because Cotton Weary's been murdered. This was left in Cotton Weary's body. You have any idea who the girl might be? Oh my god. This is Marie Prescott. This is Sidney Prescott's mother. Not a good photo. Detectives, there's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was Stab. She's got a point. This was about cotton. We are not in any danger. She was in charms. These bangs. No, I'm not into it. I'm sorry. And all this, this all yellow and red number. Courtney, what are we going through? I feel like I am in your mind. Mm, well, that would explain my constant headaches. What the fuck are these bangs? Why did they not make them longer? Sorry, I will get over it. But oh my God. It does nothing for her face. No. Uh, Jennifer, Nick said you wanted to kill. Dewey's working on the film. Well, surprise, surprise. Someone dies and Gail comes running. And I, oh. He's kind of got a point. Did I come here to fight with you, Dewey? I thought we liked each other at the end of the last movie. Oh, can we just bang and get it over with? I tell you what, if that fucking phone goes off. Who the fuck is that? And why are we wandering? Is that her mum's ghost? Dream. Dream. Alright. It better be a fucking dream. What? We're still dreaming, I'm telling you now, I'm not falling for this bullshit. No, we're still dreaming. My fucking god. Ronan? Is she gonna die? If she gets killed, that's a weird thing to happen. But then that makes me think like, is it someone that's in this new cast? Sarah, it's Roman. Uh, I'm sorry I'm running late. I'm still on the 405. I'm about 10 minutes away. Sarah gets skewered like a fucking pig. Knew it! This makes me think that there's someone in the cast then. Like information. Oh! That is so scary. And she's been locked in. She's dying. There's no way she's not dying. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, I don't care that much, to be honest, because I don't, I haven't really got to know the woman. <laughs> oh, bless her. She wants to go. The woods were released on a call from the woman who said she was stabbed her. She wanted to see if I was it for research. Yeah. Boys, I know. A month later, the station gets broken into. The file room gets ransacked. Oh, do we reckon it's... Oh my god, imagine if it's her that's playing Sid in the cast. The one that was playing all innocent and coy. Could be her, couldn't it? But that could be too obvious. Okay. I haven't had one of these in a year and a half. Someone's gonna pay for this. No. Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Oh! Dewey, who gets killed third? Is it Gail? You do. So she's gonna be getting killed next. So that's why she's all stressed and overdramatic. And If you weren't so concerned with pretensions and appearances, you'd be able to appreciate the positivity and emotional centeredness I provide a woman. I tell you what, Dewey's growing on me. The producers told us that there are three different versions of the script, some about trying to keep the ending off the internet, and we don't know which one the killer read. Oh, that's saucy. I like that. That's a bit of a plot twist. California Women's Crisis Counseling. My name is Laura. How can I help oh, you? Laura. Oh my God. I've killed someone, Laura. Then the people you need to call are the police. Don't you want to know how you can help, Laura? 
What's happening? And with the second cast member murdered, Stab 3 has been officially shut down. Just one question. Do you think it's over, Sydney? Do you? We found her number? How the fuck have we found her number? What is going on here? I'm struggling to know what's real and what's not. Oh, I've just splattered coffee all over myself. Well, he's dying. Stab, stab. Her and her fucking bangs, here she comes. Who chose the bangs? Was this like a 90s trend? Really short bangs because it's one that I don't think should come back. How old do you think Marine Prescott is in this picture? 19, 20. That's what I thought. So I checked it out. I cannot find any information about her at this age. I mean, nothing. What if she's not dead? I mean, it's, it's like she fell into a black hole, Dewey. She vanished. What if she's not dead? Guys, if her mum is not dead... Like, have we, seen a, have we seen a body? It's the same street 28 years ago. Oh my god, Maureen Prescott was at the back line at Sunrise Studios. What does that mean? What does that mean? That makes me... Angry! I mean, I knew... Oh, that's gross. But wait, he's not in the movie. It's her. It's her. Nighty bitch. It's her. How is he walking? I'm sorry, he got impaled. I'm looking in the background. I'm looking in the background. Do we all look shocked? We all look shocked. Ooh, what's it say? The bodyguard stabbed to death. The five stand trapped. He's, he's rewriting the movie. <laughs> ah, this is so much. Can we relax? Can we all not scream? It's her. Fucking kill her off. I don't care about her. Kill her. Whoever smells the... Fuck, I didn't see him blowing up. Where's the girl in the night <laughs> ah! That's not, not, not gonna be the real killer, is it? What's happening, guys? I don't understand. Love those red pants. Is he back there? <laughs> I kinda live for Gail and Dewey. I feel like they're a good like they're a good partnership. I think it's funny. Oh here she is! Oh Maybe there is a third killer. Sydney might know something. I need to talk to her, Mr. Riley. She's a key element in this case. God, I bet she's sick of just being dragged back into these cases just because she was the per person who like, got targeted in the first one. God, imagine. You, you just can't get on with your life, can you? Do you want to have this conversation with a polygraph? Is that a threat, detective? When it's a threat, you'll know it. He's sexy, that detective, though, isn't he? Mmm. Sid, it's me. This is the fifth time I've called. Please pick up. She's there. Sid. I love Sydney. She needs to start killing these people. I'm hoping in the fourth one she turns into a badass and starts hunting the bastards. That's what I hope. Because she has all the elements to make a great ghost face hunter. Because she can fend for herself. I mean, she's done it twice already. I'm sure she'll do it a third time because she's got to be in the fifth one, so. Sydney looks like a bad bitch again. Oh my god. Dude, ah! Sorry, Martha. <laughs> she's from Princess Diaries. <laughs> Randy's sister. There's something you guys should see. It is her from Princess Diaries, isn't it? If you're watching this tape, it means as I feared I did not survive these killings here at Windsor College. She found this is very interesting to listen to, I'm not gonna lie. And for some of you, I'll see you soon. God, crikey, that's kind of sinister, isn't it, at the end there? <laughs> oh, not you. I really don't like her. She's just so dramatic and over the top, and there's just no need, do you know what I mean? Dramatic and over the top. You have to pot it up until it's Am I gonna die? So that is fruit to the bone! Okay. Rena Reynolds, they will. 
She went under a different name. It was me, the psycho Christian Andrews fault. Horror pictures, back in Milton's heyday. Back in what? John Milton, the horror producer. Who's John Milton? How do you function when you know someone's after you? Do you know what I mean? And, I, and have been after you for three movies now. <laughs> Fucking taser ass! Oh no! I knew it was gonna be her! I thought, well, well, if there's no movie that no one would care if I took some souvenirs. Coincidence? I think not! I just know that they're trying to make it make me think it's her. And it's probably not gonna be, but I can't think of anybody else. Hey, Angelina. Oh dear fucking God. Oh God. It's a hairbrush. You just leave it, don't you? You don't have to go on a fucking manhunt to try and give someone back the hairbrush. Leave it on the floor. Jesus, you're Sydney Prescott. They're after you, bitch. Bitch, what the fuck? Yeah, see, she's dropped the hairbrush now anyway. Oh, fuck off, man. Where are all those people that were waiting for us to come out of the bathroom? Do you know what I mean? Where? <laughs> what the fuck? Who is it? <laughs> fuck them up! Fuck them up, Sydney! Why would you go back in the house? Does that make sense to you? <laughs> There's several. There's gonna be several again. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, icon legend moment. We live for you. I'm telling you now, it's someone that was in the cast and it's someone who knows their way around the set. <laughs> Mommy a kiss and we'll make up. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Where where did you all go? So you knew Sydney Prescott's mother? Who? Rena Reynolds. Uh, do you know how many actors have worked for me? He didn't say she was an actor. I fucking love Courtney Cox. Now you listen to me, Lois Lane. Let it go. Dead and buried. How would you like to see it dug up on national TV? Cause Gail Weathers knows, bitch. Gail Weathers knows, and she's not afraid to fucking spread the shit on national TV. Nothing happened to her that she didn't invite in one way or another. Uh. No matter what she said afterward, maybe they did take advantage of her. And he's saying it's her fault. That's not how women needs, need to get jobs, by pleasing men. Oh, the misogynistic views, I cannot e Do not even get me started on this bullshit. You know, maybe the sad truth is, this is not the city for innocence. Fuck off! How's about that? Kill him. Kill him now. Sorry. I'm done. The violence that people do to each other. He's sexy. The best way to stop being haunted is to be with people. You're here. You're not hiding. I swear, if he double crosses me and, he, and, and he's the killer, and he's the bastard, I am gonna have trust issues. What's your favorite scary movie? My life. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of sexual tension. Is anybody else? Dewey, it's Sydney. Hey, Sid. John Milton called me and said he had something to tell me, something about my mom. I'm going to meet him at his house. No. Sydney Prescott? Yeah. No, I never invite her here. She's on her way. No, she's not. Uh, we're gonna stay here and wait for Sid. We'll be right back! I don't trust him. <laughs> Dewey's, Dewey's got her voices. Go find Roman and Jennifer, I'm gonna get the others. Oh, why? Just leave them. Where's Angelina? What if it's Angelina and Roman?
No, not real. Not real. Not real. Not real. She's she's in on it somehow. That's not real. We didn't see any blood. Blood. <laughs> no, not real. Not real. Fake. Fake. <laughs> oh my god, we really didn't fuck around. Poof. Oh, I didn't like that noise. Just did a bad thing. <laughs> What's going on? Why did we scream like crazy and then we're suddenly downstairs and it's fine? <laughs> Don't fuck with Gail Weathers, I'll tell you that. Do not fuck with Gail Weathers. Did the wrong side hit him? Did it just knock his head? Hello? Hello? I can only hear myself. I only hear you too, Sydney. You show yourself they survive. You run, they die. We've got to be smart about this, Sydney. What are we doing? We go with protection these days, motherfuckers. See that metal detector? Use it. Oh, uh, I'm not here to play games. Show it to me. Throw it in the pool. That's hardly fair. Sid, where is he? Ha! You fucking. <laughs> Sydney, you're a bit of a thick bitch, to be honest. That was not a good move. She better have brought. I was gonna say she better have brought another gun. It's your turn to scream, asshole. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah! Holy fuck. That was a lot of bullets. He's not dead. But normal people can't just survive gunshots like that. Like, surely they're wearing like some sort of like vest. No! Run! I think she's got that covered, do we? I don't. Need, I don't think she needs you to tell her to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yank it! Come on, trapdoor. Hey, queen. Or again. A fucking game. Angelina is one of them. I am not falling for this bullshit. What if Angelina is her sister? Basically, during those years when Maureen Prescott kind of ran away to Hollywood, she had a child, a son, Sydney's brother. Um, but then obviously Maureen went back to her life or whatever, left him behind, and then raised Sydney alone. Um, so he's pissed. And here he is. Her, her own son. Oh. Who's that? Roman Bridger, director. And brother. I didn't recognize him without the glasses. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about him being the killer. Hero and villain face to face. Well, you know what happens now? The villain dies. Exactly. My laptop's gonna die and I'm stressed about it. Guys, I'm still unsure about what, how I feel about him being the killer. I thought it was a bit too obvious because he was obviously making the movie. Try me. Bastard! No, Sid, that would be you. You're gonna pay for the life you stole from me, Sid. God, what an absolute psychopath. How is she supposed to do anything? She didn't even know you existed. So how is it her fault? So why is she the one paying? Make it make sense! Fuck you! Fuck you! God, he's really fucking her up, isn't he? Oh, honestly, what is his problem? He has, he has got issues. He wants to kill someone he doesn't even know just because they had a better life than him. What? What a fucking little pussy boy. In the nuts, knee in the nuts. I've said this so many times, knee in the nuts. Why would you come through the door gun first? And this slow? I he's supposed to burst through the door, surprise. Well, he's gonna get hurt again, isn't he? Oh, sure. There it is. Lose something. Found something. Surely not. Surely not. She, well, she's not dead because she's in the fifth one, so she must survive. She's gone. 
She's wearing a she's wearing a vest. I guess we think alike. Guys, you're a bit late. I'm telling you now, Angelina, where's she? she? She's not dead. You can't tell me he's the only killer. If Angelina really is dead, her her kill was extremely underwhelming, let me tell you that. So Angelina really is dead. And I will say, yeah, those bangs have grown on me, guys. I can't lie. Have we even had sex? Have we even consummated this marriage? They're gonna get fucking married. What I'm asking is just to see if we're wrong. Okay, we're not getting married. We're just gonna trial this out. I'm shocked that Angelina's actually dead. We're not gonna set the alarm, are we? We're not gonna do it. We don't need to. That's weird, hun. That's not normal. There was the third movie. I am shocked that Angelina was playing no part in it. Very shocked. But I feel that they played us there. And I think they made her kill kind of shitty to make us still think that. Um, so really it was like good on their part. I'm not sure how I feel about the, the guy being her brother. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on, uh, on this movie. On Courtney's bangs, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, with that said, I'll see you soon. Look out for number four. That's going to be coming very soon. I'm not sure when. Hopefully within the next week of this one, whenever this one goes up. Love you guys lots. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the support on this little series we've got going. And I'll see you soon. Love you lots. Goodbye. Mwah!